Howdy y'all, Los here. Welcome to another episode of Bonsai Yeah. Today, we're going to make a monkey pole. What's a monkey pole? Well, it's simple. Check out this. This is Brandon Baldoff's backyard tour, and that is a monkey pole. Here's Mike Garza's monkey pole. He's got a few of them. I'd like to make one too. We have all the wood we need to make one, and I'm gonna show you step by step, day by day, how we're gonna make it so that you can make one yourself. Let's do this, shall we? Okay, what do I need to make this movable monkey pole? You need a 10 foot long two by four. Cut it down into nine one foot long sections. With four of them, cut a 45 degree angle on the end. This will be the foot of the monkey pole. Next, take two of your one foot sections and cut two 45 degree angles on both sides. This will act as our support on the top for our last and final pieces. The three one foot, you don't have to do anything but just cut these one foot sections from two by four and these will be spaced out so that we will have a square foot on top. Finally, we have a three foot long ground contact four by four, which means it's not gonna rot. You can also treat all the wood that you have with a sealant to protect it from the elements. I'm not going to protect these. This is my first run. Um, I wanna see how this works in my backyard and we'll see if I need to even have to buy pressure treated wood or ground contact wood for the whole thing. All right, let's put it together, shall we? Let's get started with the foot, the base of our tower here, our monkey pole. I don't have a very flat cut here. I used hand tools for this. Uh, so we're gonna use this part as the bottom because it's gonna be mostly secured uh, by our feet that we're gonna use here. So you take your four pieces and basically you run them along the bottom like this. Securing them as you go on and you make this pinwheel shape. And then there you have it, you have a base. It's, it's that simple. Let's put it together. Just wanna line it up square as you can. Nice. Just a few more to go. Now it should be easier to square up. You can definitely tell that's not a uh, square cut. Uh, so in the future, I'm gonna get these cut professionally or just be more mindful, uh, have, a, have a better tool. The miter saw we had here is uh, very weak. Uh, cheap Stanley tool that just got the job done. Nice. It's already looking like a monkey pole. <laughs> See? Okay. Final side. And what I'm doing here is I'm making sure I just have a 90 degree, I have a 90 degree angle with my foot and my base. So if that all lines up just right, we'll have a good stand that doesn't uh, rock around. And for the most part, as long as you don't have it on a hard surface, it'll probably stay nice and flat anyways. Uh, the flatter the surface, you know, the little more that the imperfections are gonna show. All right, great. So far, so good. Now, we're just about done. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna secure the first part of the top here. We wanna get it right in the middle, and then we're going to put our two posts, our struts, whatever we want to support, the top supports, and then we can go ahead, screw in the last two, and that's a monkey pole. And we're gonna put a bonsai on it. All right, so I drew a line where the center is and then went ahead and put it on that side. I found where the center is here and I marked it as well. I'm gonna make sure the two marks line up, up and down, and then we'll screw them together. Let's do it.
Next, you take your two little flanges here and we're gonna strap them right to the bottom of this. That will support the final two planks on top. And we've got ourselves a monkey pole. Couldn't be simpler. First, you gotta find the middle of these. It should be pretty easy. Okay, final. You put these spaced out, and look at that. Monkey pull. <laughs> a simple one. You can make this as crazy, as luxurious as you want. You can use the finest woods that you can get from the, uh, the ancient African forests. So you can do this any style you like, but this is the basic. You get a few of these, place your finest bonsai on there, how we do it. So let's go ahead and finish this off and put a bonsai on it. Producer Brandon says we probably should have made the top first with this little supports and then bolted down there. In hindsight, he's probably right. He does do this kind of thing for a living. So next time we'll listen to Brandon. But yeah, this part is particularly difficult to make sure you're, line, you're lining up everything just right. Filling out the miter at the back there, and there you go. Keep squaring this up. <laughs> it would square up just right if you were able to cut perfect squares. Uh, here at Bonsai Yam, we're not perfect. Monkey ball. <laughs> made a monkey pole. Sweet, right? Simple. This could be done a million different ways. You can get super fancy with it. This will serve its purpose. And I think the next one I'm gonna make will be completely different. We have so many new ideas that we wanna try to do to make this look lighter. Uh, using one by ones instead of two by fours on the top, go across. I've seen that done with the uh, Brandon Baldoffs. It's a very simple one. Um, you can go flat on the top, you can make a little frame. There's so many possibilities. I'm gonna put this up for now. I hope you learned something. I hope you go out and make them. Send us an email with a picture of the ones you make. We'll show them. So in the meantime, be cool, stay hip, get yourself a hobby. We'll see you next time, bye.